Hi, this is going to be a general reading for Aries. Hi, Aries. My beautiful Aries. All right, so the decks I'm going to using for your love reading is um, Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual, um, Romance Angels, My Rider Weight, and My Beauty of Whore Tarot deck. I should just grab another one, but I didn't. I, didn't, I realized I only had one tarot deck in here, and my Beauty of Whore deck was under here, so I was like, eh, fuck it, we're going to use it. All right. So, I'm going to clear this energy with my little soda light. And we are reading now for Aries. Aries. My beautiful fire sign, Aries. Aries, what does Aries need to know? After this, I have to do some sexual energy reads for my Patreon. I will do yours and Gemini's since I just read for Gemini. This camera is, or the tripod. Oh, hold on. It can't be helped. I definitely need to go get my old tripod. I, I don't like this one. It's just like, sorry for any background noise. It says, it has one angle, which is like straight down on my tits. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so annoying. Can I get it to just be straight on? It's it's too top heavy. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I was trying to adjust it again and it's just it's not working out. It's not, it's not doing it. Alright, Aries. It just it constantly falls down, points down. And it's a little bit. It's, it's not like my other one. I don't like it as much as my other one. Alright, Aries. Ground myself. Aries. Four cards for Aries for love, please. I got my soda light here so I can tell the truth. Aries, some of y'all are having a hell of a time opening up, huh? You're just like, nope, guarding my heart. I don't care. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Okay. So somebody hurt you in the past, and so now you're just like, nope, no love. <laughs> Walking away. Walking away for, from anything in regards to love. And I see you being happy in that energy right now, Aries. I mean, you really are. Hold on. But you're not going to like this because I'm going to tell you to open up as I do all my signs. Let me see. Let me see. So we have a four of pentacles, we have an eight of cups. So it shows me that you recently walked away from something and you sort of put your heart on lockdown. But here's the thing, even though I feel like you're happy right now, Aries, like look, okay, so we got this card, which is the energy of holding on to your heart, not opening up, you're just like, hell no, <laughs> right? You walked away from something some type of relationship with someone that was not working out for you. See, you walked away, you didn't look back. You were completely happy with your decision, right? Okay. Ten of Cups shows me you were completely happy with that decision. Here's the thing, though. I feel like there's another Aries. I feel like someone is going to... I feel like there's a new relationship coming in. There's an energy of something new. Something brewing. Something growing. So I'm going to tell you to open up. Even though I know you don't want to. Hold on. Here's what I have to say about it Aries. Because you're so content being alone. Because of that. People want to be around you. People want to love you. And 
and you're at a crossroads where right now you are going to need to make a decision in regards to your love life. You're going to know what that is. It's going to be different for everyone. I'm going to pull some love oracle. Okay. Whoa, those cards are fucking flying. Yeah, Ace of Wands feels very new relationship-ish. And here's the thing. Wands is fire energy. So it could be a relationship with another fire sign. Aries, what do you got for Aries? I still get this energy of you don't really want to be with anyone right now, though. It's funny. Four cards for Aries. I, I apologize if there's any background noise. There is a lot, I know. Who Aries. So there has been a lot going on. Hold on a second. Hi, Aries. I am so sorry. I apologize. The background noise is way too loud. I just had to remind them that I was recording. Excuse me. All right. So as I was saying, let me get these other two cards out. Something has happened in your love life. I don't know what it is, but it's caused you to change your mind about something. I feel like something happened. Oh, yeah. See, I feel like something happened and you weren't expecting it. And so you decided to make a decision to be alone for a while. That's why you have this closed off energy. You had to make a really tough decision. We have storm warning. And we have change. So you could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. But I'll tell you what. Even though there's this energy of that was sort of heavy in the beginning, like walking away from something, doing your own thing, I really feel like you're doing okay, honestly. You know, we got the Ten of Cups, which shows me that you're totally happy with your decision, right? See, this is the card that showed me you, you had a decision to make. This whole energy of a new relationship, a new start, okay? This shows me, yes, you were happy with your decision because you know you needed to do that so you could move forward. This is like your clean slate, right? Your new energy, okay? We got friends. So you are, I see you right here, the energy of enjoying your being single, enjoying yourself. Your person, I feel like, the, or the person, I'm not going to say your person because obviously if you left this person behind, it wasn't your person. But this person, whoever they are, they're definitely not letting you go easily, okay? They're definitely not. But I see you, look, still ghosting them, <laughs> still being unavailable to them. I'm going to pull one card, one more card from here. I see you still just being like, nope, you just really don't want anything to do with this person. So they, I don't know what they did, but they obviously fucked up big time. <laughs> oh, see, they didn't want to open up to you. They were dishonest about something. They were wearing a mask. They were faking. They were pretending to be someone that they weren't. And you could feel it. You could feel it. That's why you were guarding your heart. You were like, uh-uh, something ain't right. You were like, if it smells like shit, it's probably shit. You were spot on, Aries. See, I don't sugarcoat these readings. I read the energy. I read what comes up. All right, let's do some romance angels, and then we'll finish off with some tarot. For sure. For sure. Your instinct was spot on, Aries. Don't let your shit steer you wrong. <laughs> All right, so this month's going to be a lot of breakup season for Aries, if you're an Aries. Sorry, I wish the news was better. But you know what? Like I said, I feel like you guys are doing okay. You guys are just like, fuck it. I'm going to focus on me for a while. I do feel a new energy of love coming in. Not right away, but 
it's around the horizon. That whole Ace of Wands energy. Let me see if I'm on the right track, though. We're going to do some Romance Angels and see if there's a new love on the horizon. I really feel like there is. Okay, shuffle in right now. Four more cards for Aries. Soulmate. Told you. <laughs> there's someone else coming in. I don't lie. Okay. Three more cards for Aries, please. Oh, motherfucker. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So your next connection, very passionate. Ooh, see we we. Your next connection that's coming in is going to be your connection. Aries, can I just say that? I don't know. Maybe it's this one. Maybe you put it down for a reason. Only you will know how this resonates with you. I feel like it's your next one that's coming in, though. I feel like right now, maybe you put this person aside because you need to work on yourself. Because we do have love yourself first. That was the last card that came out, okay? I'm going to read the cards to you. This is soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. So if there's this energy of this person that you're with, they didn't open up to you, you decided to walk away, you're happy with your decision, you're going to have to use your discretion. But if you feel like this could be your soulmate, these are the cards confirming it for you. And this also came out. Past life relationship. Passion came out in between it. So whatever the case, this is a passionate connection. Okay? Now, whether this is about... The person that you just left behind or whether it's a new connection I can't really tell that energy all I know is I feel this energy surrounding you okay but what I'm saying is you did the last card that you got is love yourself first so you could have put this connection aside because one you needed you felt like you needed to work on yourself and that's what was causing blocks in your relationship also I feel like both of you were not really opening up. We got four of pentacles for you. So showed an energy of you closing off your heart and not being opened up. Your person too. I seen that they were wearing a false mask. So they weren't open up to you, opening up to you as, as much as you would have liked to see them open up to you. But I feel like also it was because you weren't opening up as well. So they were sort of mirroring you. So that's just the energy I'm picking up on. All right. So... Either way, we got passion, past life relationship. It says you have known each other before. Like I said, I don't know if it's this connection or if it's a new connection coming in. We did not get new love. So this could be the connection that you're in right now. Okay. Either way, your angels are saying love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's going to need to be some healing first before you move forward in this connection or any other connection my beautiful aries and that's okay working on you is going to be your best investment all right so let's pull the last four cards from my beauty of horror deck tarot and we will call this reading so if you want to book a reading with me just click the little arrow and you know down underneath my underneath my video and it pops up my description box it's got all of my prices if you want to book a reading with me. There's two different ways that you can tip me Aries now. Um, I have Cash App and PayPal. So thank you for those of you. I'm sorry about the background noise. Thank you for those of you that have already <laughs> done that and tipped me. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. It means the world to me. If you want to join me on Patreon. Let me just get my spiel out of the way before we finish. If you want to join me on Patreon, I am doing sexual energy reads for all of the signs. Now, I'm going to say this quickly. If you found this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. I do sexual energy reads now every month for all the signs, but they are only on my Patreon. There's three different tiers depending on what you want to invest in me and also invest in you, of course. The readings on my sexual, um, the sexual energy reads are extremely X-rated, like literally X-rated, okay? I use the Tarot of Sexual Magic, which is 
tastefully done um, nudity. But the other deck that I used is literally triple X. Okay, it's called Twin Red Hot Twin Flame Filthy Fantasies, and it is by the creator Twin Flames Are Forever. She also has her own channel that you can check out if you'd like. But like I said, the deck is triple X. So if you're under 18, please do not join me on Patreon. But if you are over 18 and you love sexual energy reads, I would connect your person's energy and let you know what they are into sexually. And they are so fucking fun to do. Let me tell you, tapping into someone's sexual energy is a total different ball game. <laughs> so thank you for all of my Patreons already that have joined me on Patreon. I have to give you guys a shout out. Um, but I only do, I do name shout outs for the second tier. So if you're part of the first tier, you don't get a shout out, but I'm going to give you a shout out right now. Anyways, so for those of you that have joined me on that, the first tier, I want to say thank you. So far, I have no one on the second tier yet to give, um, you know, to do like an actual name drop shout out. But if you join me on the second tier, that's what you're going to get. All right. Also, my, um, Etsy, my Etsy shop is, um, my, my, I'm sorry, my Lemurian love deck is on sale in my Etsy shop right now. So for those of you that like mermaids and want to connect to the Lemurian love deck that I created, um, with the artwork of Kimber Kiss, it is on sale half off. It was normally $60. It's on sale for 30. All right. I'm just letting you know, cause I, I'm trying to create another deck. And so I would like to get this deck out of my Etsy shop for now and please check out my son's channel. We're going to wrap this up for you, my beautiful fire signs. Also, if the energy is really crazy, I do do extendeds, okay, for um, the signs only on my Patreon. So that's another benefit you get of being my Patreon. Who see we we? Oh, Aries. All right, two more cards for Aries. We have Knight of Pops and we have the Sun. So see, there is an energy, oh, king of cups too. <laughs> so funny. Here's, here's what's coming up. Let me just tell you. Okay, Aries. So there's an energy of someone wanting to come with their cup. I mean, they want to come with so much romance and... You got the sun afterwards. So this is... A happy union if you decide to give this energy a chance whether it's this person that you decided to walk away from or a new person I can't really tell the energy is too strong around you for you know the all I can feel is the love the love is strong so you will know if it's a new person or if it's an old if it's an old energy if this old energy does not feel right by all means fucking walk away but if you know that you have a deep soul connection with this person, then this is a definite reason to hold on. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So if you give this union, any union, this energy, you'll know what it is. A chance. Here we go. Look. This is a hopeless romantic card. They're coming in with their cup. They're going to say, I love you. And if you give it a chance, you have your happily ever after right here. The sun, it's Leo energy. It's the happiest card in the deck besides the world. Also, look, they go, your person goes from Knight of Cups to they give you their cup. You guys are together and in love. Then they go to King of Cups. So they make a literal fucking upgrade leap from your love. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Oh, shit. You just totally upgraded them with your fucking rays of fucking sunshine, Aries. The sun is also fire energy. And then we got page of wands. So literally, your person too. Look at this. You guys are, it's going to be a beneficial relationship where you both learn from each other. You guys grow together. The page of wands for me represents learning, knowledge, learning from each other. Um, growing together, you know, the, the wand, it's got the growth on it. It's you, you learn from each other and you literally become more enlightened because you guys are together. This might be a twin flame relationship because to me, this card here, 
this card, look at enlightenment, enlightenment, enlightenment. There it is. All signs of enlightenment. The light, the crown chakra lit up. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, Aries, we're done. If you want to book a reading with me, like I said, check my prices in the description box. Please check out my son's channel. He's the only featured channel on my channel. That's all I got for you, Aries. I'm going to leave here. I'm going to do one more reading, and then I'm going to do your sexual energy read. I love you. Mwah.